Hello guys, this is Deathula and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at a semi-automatic kill farm for Minecraft 1.15 and above. Now before we get started, this only works in Minecraft Java. I don't know if it works in Minecraft Bedrock, so please tell me down below. Now, the concept of this farm is we breed up the kills in these individual cells. The babies fall into the water streams, which then carry them up here and then to the kill chamber, where they'll die. Now, there's seven, no sorry, there's 14 kills in each cell. So whenever we breed the kills, there will be seven offspring. Seven times four is 24, so you know that's like the max entity crying thing, but that's why we have this three wide space. Now you can breed these kills every five minutes, but the kills take 20 minutes to grow. So that can cause, you know, some problems. Now, as you can see here, one of the adult cows has grown, so if we just flick this switch, the clock has been timed perfectly so that the drops aren't burned up and it all comes in here. These other drops are from previous testing when I first constructed this farm. Anyways, let's get into the tutorial. But before we continue with the video, I need you guys to do something for me. Over 90%, that's right. 90% of you who watch these videos aren't subscribed. That's a massive number. So why don't you do me a favour by going to the channel, subscribing and turning on the notification bell to be notified of all future videos. Alright, so to get started I'd recommend you build the area where the kills will be stored because it would be a lot easier if you do this section first. So what we're going to do is we're just going to build the walking platform which will house the redstone below. In fact what we'll do for simplicity's sake is we'll put in the redstone first since this is you know hard to get to later on. Now what you want to do is you just want buttons, but well, not buttons, redstone and redstone repeaters like so along with dispensers like this. These dispensers will be filled with water. So make sure you go and fill each dispenser with water. Like so, almost done. And there we go. Now right here, got to place down a bit of redstone and then you want a full block or two half slabs like this. And you're going to want a button. I would recommend a stone button since that is the shortest, you know, delay. So I'm just going to replace that, there we go, sweet. Now what you want to do is you want to repeat the redstone and dispensers like you did previously. Here we go, and then put in your dispensers like so. Providing of course you actually place them properly. Alright there we go, we'll put the water buckets and that later on since it takes up too much time. Alright, so now since we have that in place we can put in the area where you as the player will walk. In my testing doing the rest on last really isn't an option. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to handle the area that will hold the kills. So I'm going to use the half slabs since it doesn't in interfere with the hitbox of the acacia fence or any fence for that fact. Alright, there we go. And you want to make sure you have a three wide, basically a three by three, like so. Because inside this three by three, you've got to have fences, which will re restrict the movement of the cows. There you go. So you want to repeat that on all, all four sides. So we're just going to do that, like so. There we go, bring these blocks around and then you want to do the exact same over here. There we go. So just do that like so. And then last but not least we'll do it over here as well. And there you go, so now you can just finish it off by bringing these stone slabs round and just for to make it nice we'll do that and we'll do that all right sweet 
Now what you want to do is you want to come in here. Now you will need to use some scaffolding blocks to get in here because of you know the way the area is dug out. What I would recommend is probably placing a block here and then another one in the middle and then you place your glass pane. In popular designs they use trap doors but unfortunately you know the cows don't always pop off of these pop off the trap doors they always pop off of the glass pane since the the bounding box of it is so small we'll do the same thing again over here so make sure it's one block lower so that you know it doesn't get waterlogged because in my testing that happened several times there you go also it doesn't matter what type of glass pane it is as long as it's you know a glass pane all right there we go now let's move on to the area below so for the next section of the tutorial you want to lay out the size the dimensions of the water funneling system the exact same as the outskirts of these blocks up above now we're going to come down two blocks and we're going to put in a few signs to restrict the water flow so we'll place a sign here here and here we'll place one sign here and one sign right here we're going to repeat that over here as well make sure these signs are in line with the glass pane and since we have a bit of division here what I'd recommend you do is just bridge over like so and place three signs repeat this on the opposite side once again we'll do the exact same thing over here so place your three signs one sign up one sign on the pane one sign up three signs one sign on the pane place in your separating blocks three signs and three signs make sure it's signs you're using not trap doors or anything because that will interfere with the flushing mechanism now if you want to make sure the flushing mechanism works just power the system and as you can see the water is perfect it's not flowing anywhere so let's power this off now you may want to put your cows into the areas i would recommend sorting them out into groups of 14 prior to doing this however you can start the system off with just one breeding cell and then expand in the future now that that's done we can move on so what we're going to do is we're going to come down three blocks and then we're going to place our floor so at this height you're going to have the main floor of this flooding area so i'm going to fill in that area right now now that you have the floor in place we can now start placing the water streams now once again make sure this is three blocks down it doesn't really matter if it's two blocks down but you know it's better if you do it three blocks down now let's place our water in like so and we've got to do the same on the other side there we go so now in the middle we're going to place signs like so and then we need two more right perfect this is where the cows are going to fall down into a single stream so break the, break the blocks below you like so and for this section I'd recommend coming down at least two blocks if you have the height to work with go down three if you wish now in this section we're going to place over blocks now you may wish to use packed ice here it would be more effective in terms of dealing with you know the cows because they can be quite you know annoying and slow now that is your main funneling system in place now let's start planning ahead for where we're going to send the cows by building the grinder itself so to get started with this grinder i'd recommend having a single chest as output you can then take that output and then filter it into a sorting system later on if you wish now we've got to break this block here 
and we've just got to play, place down our chest. Then you want a hopper, and then two hoppers feeding in, like so. Next, after that, we're going to need some trap doors, which you've got to place on top. This is where the kills will fall directly onto. There we go. We're going to place some glass on either side, and then even more glass back here. There we go. Now for this next stage, we're going to look at the kill area itself. So we're going to put in some half slabs. Now, you can sneak underneath here and then kill them. Oh, if you so wish. But that's just to stop the baby kills from escaping. Alright. Perfect. Sweet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place some observers. Make sure you're placing them the correct way, like so. So the face is pointing out towards you. We're going to take buttons. Again, make sure they're stone ones. Now you can just go with one of these. If you wish, I'll just do two, for, you know, because it's symmetrical. Okay, so now what we're going to need is we're going to need a dispenser. So I'm just going to pick block from over here. And we're going to need three. What you want to do now is you want to fill these with lava. One bucket would work, but I prefer to use three. Just so that you know it spreads evenly. There we go. Now what we want to do is we want to take a block there, we're going to have a repeater, we're going to have a full block here, and then we're going to have blocks on either side, and these blocks are simply going to feed redstone back here. So we're just going to do this, like so, and now we can test the system. As you can see, it is fairly quick. Perfect. Now, what you want to do is we've got to place a block up here and blocks along. And above this block is where you can now have water flowing. Now that we have this set up, we can finish this a little bit. In fact, what we can do is we can just place that there and we can come on up like so. Now, let's tackle the elevator to get the cows up here and into the cow chamber. Alright, so let's tackle this elevator. So we've got to use this block right here, the one that the redstone feeds into, because I want to keep this system nice and compact, and we've got to bring it all the way down until it's in line with this. Then what we've got to do is we've got to do this over here, and we've got to bring this all the way down as well. There we go, perfect. Now, we're going to work on the water stream system. Which, depending on the way you place the water, this might look a little bit different. But it should, you know, follow the same kind of rule set. Okay, so, the way this will work is the soul sand will go here. Because this will create the elevator itself. And what we're going to want is we're going to want fences right here. Make sure they are connected to blocks on all sides, like so. And for good measure, we'll place some blocks here. Then, if we place a water source, right there, if I can get inside, the mobs will be pushed. Excellent, that works. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to bring the blocks up on either side, like so. And we've got to bring these straight up. So this will be the tube that the cows use. There we go. Now if you want, you can place water at the top here. And then fill this tube with kelp. And that will basically turn it all into water sources. But what we've got to do instead. Is we've got to do this. Where we place signs here. And then we'll do the same right there. And this will hold back the water. And then we've got to bring it up like so. So now, if I, say if I'm standing here, I'll be slowly pulled, like so. It'll catch me in just a moment. There you go. And then it'll pull me up. But even if I had, say, the water here, I wouldn't move anymore. So we need to fix that. A way for us to do that is if we do this, where we break these blocks, and then do that. 
And then if we replicate that exact same thing, we'll be pulled into the system. There we go. So now make sure, obviously, that all your water is in place. And you'll be able to tell if the bubble column reaches the top of the water. So there you have it, that is your water system there. So let's seal off this area. Now you may want to lower this water here, like this outflow by one block, because sometimes if the cows move too fast going up, they will, you know, glitch into blocks. Alternatively, if you make these blocks all transparent like glass, that won't be an issue for you. Now, we come to this area. So what we're going to do is we're just going to place a few blocks for now, but we're not going to place a water stream right here because the cows will start jumping furiously and we don't want that. So we've got to count out some blocks. So we've got to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and place the actual water source back here just so that they don't get the same bubbly effect over here. Now, you will run into the problem where that won't work properly, so just do that and then refill in the source. And you can check that that still works by just going down to the bottom and then floating to the top and you should still make it. There you go. Now what you want to do is fill in the blocks like so, so that this is just a one block tall tunnel. Then we don't need to worry about any signs there and the cows shouldn't really be jumping around. So there you go. Now what I'd recommend is let's see if we can test this out. And we'll push that baby in. There we go. I've already recorded this segment once before. <laughs> okay, right, let's go here. And the baby does like to jump around in the water streams. I don't know why. It, the mobs seem to do that. As you can see, it keeps on getting stuck there, but it will eventually fix itself. The time it takes is random, but it will normally happen within a few minutes or so. So I'm just going to go and give him a helping hand. There you go. He's slowly being pulled. Or not, he's fighting. What we'll do here to stop this from happening is we'll get some wheat just to test this. Well, this, you know, happens with every like, drop. So let's just let him come in, and there you go, see, he goes all the way up to the top, and on occasion he does fight it, but it will eventually come. If this does happen, just pull out a, a bit of wheat, and they will come into the system. And then to test this, to make sure you've configured it right, if the lava doesn't hurt him, when he's there, you've got the system perfect. Now, if you haven't put the cows into the system already, now's the time to do so. So make sure you have 14 inch cells, so we have one there, so... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There we go, so that's fourteen and one, and then you do it for the rest of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I'm just gonna continue doing this while I talk about a little bit. So, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now, what will happen is, say you want to breed, you'll press the button, the cows will start bobbing up and down. Now, they don't always do it, which is a wee bit strange, so maybe this system needs to be tweaked. But the baby cows jump up and down in this water, but I don't know why the adults don't. So you will need to walk around and, you know, use wheat to breed them. What I like to do is I like to count out the wheat as I do it, just so that you know I don't waste any. However, there is always still the chance that you do waste them. Then when you retract the water, the cows, the baby cows normally shoot out. So let's put in the last bunch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And there you go folks, you now have a semi-automatic cow farm. Perfect for the early game of your survival worlds. This works on servers, this works in single player, this works in Minecraft 1.15 and above. It probably would work in the lower versions as well. If you're going to build it, test it for me in those versions and tell me how it goes. If you enjoyed this tutorial, let me know by liking this video, subscribing to the channel 
and by leaving a comment. Just tell me how the build went for you, if you found it difficult, if you had any problems, I will be replying to every single comment that you leave. Thank you all for watching the video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel to be notified of all future videos. On the left at the top, you'll see a video that I think you should watch next, and at the bottom you'll see a video that YouTube wants you to watch. Thanks for watching.